Welcome back guys. Uh, last time I taught you guys how to throw tomahawks. Today we're going to be learning how to throw throwing knives. Let's get started. Alright guys, so the first step is um, you want to find a comfortable grip that works with you. I like to do two fingers on this side with a thumb like this and then as, throwing, as far as throwing goes, you want to keep your uh, wrist straight, don't have it, don't flick it, and then I like to go about 90 degrees back and then release it right about here. Don't flick your wrist at the end because that will make it rotate more or less than you want. So just stay consistent with your throws and that's mainly the key, just practicing. So you're going to hold it with two fingers right here? Two fingers there, whatever you want to do, whatever's comfortable with you. So I'm going to give my brother here a try, see if he can uh, get some stuck. Go ahead. Right here? Yeah. Try that one. Just keep practicing, you'll get it. Yeah, so you're not gonna get it on the first try. You just gotta keep practicing, get comfortable with the grip, get comfortable with the throwing motion, and then finding that release point. And then also just knowing your distance. So just keep practicing, working your way back from the tree. Once you get it stuck in the tree, try it a couple more times from there. And then uh, just keep practicing, and you'll get it. I'm gonna show you guys a quick example from a different angle. I'm gonna get all three knives stuck in the tree. Just like that, if you just keep practicing, you'll get the hang of it and eventually you'll be pretty consistent with your throws and get them on target where you want to. So that's all it is. I'm gonna teach my brother here now, so just stay tuned. All right, guys, I gave my brother some tips on throwing and he's got a couple stuck in the tree. I'll show you some examples here now. Now I'm going to show you guys some expert level throws from some pretty long distance. So I'm going to be way over there and let's see if I can get all three in. That's one for three. Let's see if I can get three for three. Might take some time. Got two for three, now three for three. So there we have it, there's three for three. One's way down here, another one right here, and then all the way over here. So yeah, just keep practicing, and then eventually you'll get the hang of things and you can keep backing up until you get a very long distance like that. But start off slow, start off uh, short distance from the tree, work your way back, and honestly, just stay consistent with your throw and keep practicing. And that's about it, that's all I got. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.